Yeah, so I was gonna say good morning to you and just right when I start... Do you hear it? <laughs> it's a tradition, the work over my head just starts at the same time. Today we're gonna do a new what I eat in a day. Can you even guess what I'm gonna start my morning with now? What is going on? What is going on in your life, in your mind, Emily? Who would have ever thought Emily, me, who hates that vegetable, start her morning <laughs> with celery juice? I mean, let's just talk it a bit through because, you know, maybe you know, maybe you don't, but with all my health issues and a lot of acne and things like that, I wanted to try, you know, natural things to get better. So, of course, the main reason why I got sick is because I got anxious. So, stress is a big thing that I started to work on. And then, my vitamins helped me too. But then, I really wanted to know if... Let me just put it down so you can see me slicing this. I really wanted to know about this celery because, you know, I heard about it for so long. Everyone's like, yeah, celery juice is amazing. And I was like, what can it possibly do better than any other vegetable? But then I listened to podcasts and people said they're really so in improvement. Apparently there's something in celery that's like different to anything else. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give this a go. It's okay. I hate it, but I can, I can try, you know? I've been trying it and honestly I feel so good when I drink it it's only been like maybe two or three weeks my skin's clearer for sure however it's a lot of preparation you know you have to go out grocery shopping get your celery for the morning um, I used to do it in my juicer because I do have a slow juicer but I find it super like time-consuming to juice and wash it and stuff so now i'm just doing it in my blender this this is why i chop it up and i find i get more juice out of it too so i take my blendy blender pop that all in there's also a quantity that we need to achieve and i don't think i'll achieve this today because usually i fill it up there to get the, the right quantity but we'll see yeah, so I really don't have a lot today, but we'll do with that. So my technique is I just take a nut milk bag. Pour that in. We have that. We're just pressing it now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I mean, really don't have Ooh, you almost fell guys. Just have 400, but that was it for today. Hello? So I'm gonna have this and then wait 20 to 30 minutes to have my breakfast. I'll show you what it is. So celery juice was probably a surprise, but my breakfast isn't. I'm having oats. I hope you're not bored of me eating oats, but at the same time, you know what? It just shows that this is actually what I eat. Like, I'm not gonna fake anything. I just eat oats all the time. Oats are my life. All right, so in here, we just have oats and water. This morning, I didn't add chia seeds because I prepped something. It's a blueberry jam, and there are some chia seeds in there. You shouldn't eat more than 15 grams of chia seeds a day, which is about three tablespoons like this because it could be toxic if you eat more. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that info. Beautiful. I'm gonna add some cinnamon, almost unripe banana. Chop that. I'm just gonna mix that through. Protein granola. And we done. Ready to dig in. I came back to a sort of good intuitive eating, by the way because I was tracking what I was eating to get back to health and it really really helped me I still have days where I do it um, just to make sure things are okay now I've found my appetite back and I've lost the weight that I wanted to lose so yeah I'm just like back to eating intuitively I don't know if that would be interesting like to just check how much I eat intuitively so maybe what I'll do is check at the end of the day because 
I feel like it always influences me, even if I don't want to be influenced, you know, like inputting the food that you eat and have the results after one meal and two meals. You're like thinking more about what you're gonna eat rather than just like letting it be and just check at the end. So maybe I'm just gonna do that and show you. Mm. I'll never get sick of oatmeal. I don't understand people that don't like it. I mean, the texture is a bit repulsive. I do agree. But not when you make it thick like this. Look, it stays. It's not like this vomit look like <laughs> porridge. I just am going, I'm not going, I'm getting ready and I'm having a coffee. So since it's a what I eat in a day and drink, I'm having a coffee. I don't know if some of you, enough of you would be interested in a skincare routine because honestly i had a few requests and i'm gonna be transferring with you sometimes i have requests for things that are not like directly related to my channel which i'm really happy to do because i'm happy to know you to do things that you want to see but the issue is that i put so much effort into these videos and I know like one or two people want to see it, but then that's all. And then those videos end up not being seen at all or just like being interesting at all. So I just want to focus my energy towards things that will be a value for you guys, but also for me. If I can like spend 10 hours on a video for it to be seen rather than for it to be not seen. Then that's better. So yeah, if there is really enough like interest into a skincare routine, I will do it. If not, I probably won't. I'll probably see you for lunch actually. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. I mean, oh my god, I filmed so many things for my Instagram and YouTube and it's almost 3 p.m. and I haven't eaten so thank god I have everything I need. Hashtag thankful. Okay, my friends, here's what we're having. Pasta. You know, cooked pasta. Just wet a bit. Just go through the pasta. I just separate my pasta like this. Little trick. What else do we have today? Two leftover squash, this recipe. Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't tell you. Exciting, exciting, exciting something coming January 1st. If you're into vegan lifestyle, vegan recipes, healthy living, you want to keep tuned for what's coming in January. Putting my pasta in. Pop that in the microwave. I'm going to add some edamame, which are soy beans. Soy beans. High in protein. I'm going to add a lot of salad. I usually don't buy plastic salad. But it was an emergency. And as I told you multiple times before, but I'm not about perfection. And I'd rather inspire to make the best choices when you can rather than being like you're not perfect you can't live a sustainable lifestyle a little sauce i made looks pretty good to me that's lunch wow that's really pretty i made these yesterday and they're so yummy oh my god they're delicious i mean can't just go with one mm. moist a little bit sandy not too sweet whole meal no gluten vegan what else can i say to sell you my cookies for dinner what is the situation green lentils that i've soaked this afternoon some leftover tofu this is I thought it was like a simple tomato sauce, but it's a tomato sauce with soy, but I need to finish it. I'm gonna add some carrot, maybe some garlic, and just a bit of quinoa to bring up the carbs a little because it's very heavy in proteins.
I think we can call this a stew. Walnuts, I wish I had more. Okay, well that smells amazing. I'm gonna have a lot of it because I'm quite hungry. Too big, a bit more. I do understand that this looks absolutely disgusting to some people that don't like lentils. Christmas season, festive season of, I wasn't gonna do any recipes. I would love to do maybe some tips and more of what I eat and yeah tips on like how to enjoy the holidays also keep being healthy and what I personally do and what I, what I personally do in January um, and things like that I don't know if you have any requests please let me know in the comments so I don't I'm not alone on this channel <laughs> thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time bye